The federal agency that oversees many of the nation's nursing homes is urging governors to use extreme caution in easing coronavirus restrictions. About a third of the country's more than 91,000 coronavirus deaths are connected to nursing homes. Jonathan Vigliotti talked to Seema Verma, administrator of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Can you give us a sense of timing when families can expect to see their loved ones? Is it a matter of weeks, a matter of months? Well, we hope it's as quickly as possible because we recognize how important it is for patients and their families. Seema Verma, the administrator for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, says the decision to allow visitors to return to nursing homes should depend on coronavirus cases in the community. Inspections of especially hard hit facilities and testing for staff and residents. We've already seen governors across the nation taking action around testing in their nursing homes, and we think that's a very important component towards reopening nursing homes. Patient advocates say the lack of testing and personal protective equipment is partly to blame for the high death toll and warn these facilities need better access to both before they can reopen. CMS has restricted visitors since March to protect residents. The agency's guidelines allow families in to say goodbye, but some we've spoken with say they were denied. Can you please tell us right now, and nursing homes more importantly, what these guidelines are? Yeah, you know, from the very beginning, our guidelines have been clear. And so in the case of end of life, uh, nursing homes should allow family members to come in. Are you thinking of making that mandatory so there is no room for error here, no misinterpretation? We want to do everything we can to make sure that nursing home residents have the best quality of life. At least 28,000 people connected to long-term care facilities have died. I'm curious to know how you would grade yourself in the response to this pandemic so far. I think it's also important to understand that the oversight of nursing homes is a joint federal and state effort. How would you grade that effort, that joint effort? What kind of grade would you place on that? You know, I think that we've taken strong action from the very beginning and we've continued to put out regulations. We meet daily with the CDC. We've been going and doing inspections. Some of the hardest hit homes had a history of citations for lapses in infection prevention and control and staff shortages. Did your agency do enough in regulating nursing homes to make sure that they were protected for a pandemic of this kind? So going into the pandemic, if you look at some of the work that we did last year, we actually revamped the entire system and created new tools. We've actually increased the number of fines for nursing homes. And we identified some 1,200 nursing homes across the country that we knew were struggling with infection control. And CMS says a commission of industry experts will meet later this month to look back at the response and identify best practices. But critics argue that panel should have met much earlier in this crisis. Verma says the commission is just one of the agency's efforts to help facilities. Anthony. All right, Jonathan, thank you. Hard to believe the government can be satisfied with the way this is, the pandemic has played out in nursing homes, given, as you point out, the death toll. Thanks.